Today I'm going to go over the recent balance suggestions for the next Shindo life update. If you enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe. The first suggestion is a huge nerf to grab moves. They will be made cancelable by knockback and stun moves, have reduced hitboxes, and have their own global cooldown. Overall all of these changes are pretty good. Grab moves take no skill, and have very little counterplay. Lots of people like this suggestion so it'll probably be added into the game. The second suggestion is to remove iframes off Chaos 3rd and Rei and Ringoku 1st. This suggestion is a bit ify for me. I think Chaos 3rd should definitely not have iframes, but Rei and Ringoku 1st is a little different. It has a fairly high amount of hand signs, and is mainly used for its iframe. So, Chaos 3rd should have its iframe removed, but I think Rei and Ringoku 1st should keep its iframes, or have some kind of buff like increased range, or reduced hand signs. The third suggestion is to put Bank A Inferno 1st on iframe global cooldown. This is definitely a good suggestion. Bank A Inferno is really annoying to fight against, but it never really became meter, because the rest of Bank A Inferno is pretty bad, and it's kind of a waste of a bloodline slot. The fourth suggestion is to increase Raiden Sabaru's Q spec cooldown. Initially I thought this was a bug, but Raiden Sabaru's Q spec has been at 5 seconds for a really long time. It definitely needs a nerf, because of how much damage, and doesn't the fact that it's a block breaker. The fifth suggestion is to increase Mace of Octopod's cooldown from 17 to 20 seconds. I don't really like this suggestion, mainly because no one really uses any other weapons other than Meru Daggers right now, and I've never seen anyone use Mace of Octopop. So I think it's fine as it is right now, but if a lot of people start using it then maybe increase the cooldown. The sixth suggestion is to have Ray Carada first have its end stun nerfed. I like this idea for the most part, but they just have to make sure the stun isn't reduced to the point where it's really easy to get out of the move. Right now Ray Carada's first is really easy to counter with grab moves, but if they are getting nerfed, Ray Carada should definitely be nerfed too. The seventh suggestion is to increase Kai cost of Baruma Key Gaiden first. I don't really know why Baruma Key Gaiden first had such low Kai cost in the first place. But this definitely needs to change, and seems more like a bug. The eighth suggestion is to reduce hand signs on Karada's second move. I really like this suggestion. Karada is really useless right now, because of how good the newer bloodlines are. But I would like a complete rework of these bloodlines, and not just small changes. The ninth suggestion is to increase damage on Kenichi moves. This is another bloodline that needs a complete rework. A lot of the moves have gaps or are just not good. But for now, this is a good suggestion for the bloodline. The tenth suggestion is to have auto dodges cancel grab moves long animations. This basically removes staggering auto dodges and completely takes out any infinite combos from the game. Overall pretty good suggestion, but it may make PvP last longer than before. The 11th suggestion is to nerf range on Dage Wire and Azim Senko Kune. This is a really bad suggestion. Both of these throwables are really good for PvE and a reduction of their ranges would really hurt traveling across the map. But I would be fine with competitive only changes to these throwables. The 12th suggestion is to increase Meru Dagger's cooldown. Definitely a needed change. But I think this isn't enough for Meru Daggers. A change to how many hits it takes to block break is definitely needed, or a reduction to how many slashes there are. The 13th suggestion is to buff Clay 3rd. This is another bloodline that needs a complete rework. But a buff is needed for now. The 14th suggestion is to increase Iced and Weapon spec cooldown to 30 seconds. Another needed change. This weapon was so easy to spam, and would have ruined PvP, if not for how hard it is to obtain. The 15th suggestion is to reduce the hitbox on Kamaki Akuma 3rd. This suggestion will probably be implemented with a whole nerf to all of the grab moves. But if that suggestion doesn't happen, this is definitely needed. The last suggestion is to reduce knockback on Sabaru Surprise. I really don't know about this one. When Sabaru Surprise was meter, it was really annoying to fight. There is no indication that the move is going off, and it has really long range. If this does get implemented Sabaru Surprise needs a range reduction and some sort of startup animation. Anyway that is all of the balance suggestions that came out for this upcoming Shindo life update. Let me know what you guys think about these suggestions in the comments below. Bye.